All right, so now let's talk about mixture problems, where we take multiple things and we mix them together to get a, a new quantity or whatever. All right, so here's the little idea I like to use. Mixture problems. So you typically, for this example here, uh, we're going to have like two things we're mixing together. And so we take the first rate and the first amount and multiply those two things together. Now, rate would be like the percentages, like 7% uh, alcohol solution, or say dollar amounts, you know, it's it's five bucks a pound, then the rate would be the dollar amount, the five bucks. The amounts would be the, um, how much you have, 10 pounds, 55 gallons, whatever the case may be. So that's the difference between the rates and the amounts. So once we understand the those difference between those two things, then uh, in order to set up our little equation here, we just have take the rate of the first item and the amount of the first item, we multiply those together. Then we add the rate of the second item times the amount of the second item. And if we had three things we were mixing, we would have plus the third rate times the third amount, so forth and so on for as many things as you want to mix together. Then all of that is equal to whatever the final rate needs to be and the final amount. Okay, all right, so here's an example. All right, how many gallons of a 6% acid solution must be mixed with seven gallons of a 10% acid solution in order to obtain a 9% acid solution? All right, so everybody see we're mixing two different things together to come up with a third mixture? All right, so the best way to start application problems is to always define your variable. So I'm gonna go over to the side and say, all right, let's let x be what? Well, what are we looking for? We're looking for the number of gallons of 6% acid solution. So let x be gallons of 6% solution. Okay. All right. Uh, we already know we have seven gallons of the 10% acid solution. All right. So we want to get to a 9% solution. All right, so let's follow, following our little template over here of first rate times first amount plus second rate times second amount equals final rate times final amount. What can we do? All right, well, what's the first rate? What's the rate right here? Well, 6% would be the rate, so to speak, but we don't use percentages. We remember to change percentages into decimal numbers. So we have 0 0.06 would be the rate. And what's the first amount? Well, how much? How many gallons are we using? Well, we're using x. We just defined everything right there on that line. All right, so now we have plus. All right, what's the second rate? Well, what are we adding to this? Well, we're adding 7 gallons of a 10% acid solution. So the rate would be 10%, which is 0.1. And the second amount would be 7. So first rate times first amount plus second rate times second amount equals the final rate. So we want to obtain a 9% solution. So the rate would be 0 0.09. But then the final amount, we don't know. Well, or do we? All right, well, we're starting with 7 gallons, right? So we're going to add in x gallons. So therefore, how many gallons are going to be there when we're done? Well, x plus 7. Everybody see that? So you have rate times amount plus rate times amount equals rate times amount. And the amount over here is we had 7 to start with. We're adding x to it. So the total at the, at the end is going to be x plus 7 gallons. And this is just a linear equation now uh, that we can solve like normal. Everybody see that? All right, let's finish it out. So 0 0.06x plus 0 0.7 equals 0 0.09x plus 0 0.63. When you distribute that through. And there are multiple ways that you, you can um, solve this equation, and I don't really care. Uh, I expect everybody from this line right here, when we get the equation, to be able to solve it one way or another. Uh, all right, so this would give us, I'm going to subtract 0.09x from both sides and subtract 0.7 from both sides. And so that's going to give us negative 
0.03x equals negative 0 0.07. And then divide both sides by 0 0.0 by negative, excuse me, then divide both sides by negative 0 0.03 and we get 2.3333 and re the 3 repeats forever. So it's really 2 and a third that we have right there. So we need to add 2 and a third gallons. Make sense? All right. So uh, this idea can be applied to, yes, percentages uh, with gallons, whatever the case may be. It can also be applied if you're mixing, say, nuts at the store, and one nut costs uh, 5 bucks a pound and another nut costs three fifty a pound, and you mix the two together. Well, the dollar amounts would be the rates, and the uh, pounds would be the amounts that you're using, so forth and so on. All right. So uh, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.